In this short video, we're going to look at special products of binomials. So the first thing we'll look at is the square of a binomial. So again, this is an important word, binomial. We'll be using it a lot throughout the entire course. And so what exactly does it mean? Well, a monomial means we're only going to have one term. And so here are some examples of monomials. 3x squared, x to the power of 5, negative 2xy. Only one term when you just look at those in isolation. Binomial means two terms. And usually we think of it as a group. So I would have 2y plus 3 or negative 3x plus 5. So if I'm going to look at the square of a binomial, for example, if I take the binomial as a group, 4x minus 3, and then square that, then I have to realize that, oh, this is being squared as a group, as a, a binomial. And I'm not just squaring the 4x. I'm not just squaring the negative 3. I'm squaring the entire group. 4x minus 3, which means I take the product 4x minus 3 times 4x minus 3. So I would use FOIL. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Use the extended distributive property, or FOIL. And we'll get four terms. But then we're going to look for a pattern to help us remember how to do this. So I get 16x squared, then minus 12x, minus 12x again, and then positive 9. And what's the pattern we can see? Well, the 16x squared is the square of the first term, 4x. In the middle, I have two identical terms, and that's the product of 4x and negative 3. So the first term times the second term, we have that twice. And then the last term is the square of the last term, negative 3. And so that gives me a nice pattern that would help me remember how to do this. And this, again, this is looking for patterns is an investment. It's going to help us later on. So the pattern is you have the first term squared, then twice the product of both terms. So twice the product. Take the product and then multiply it by 2, and then the square of the last term. So if I just have a plus b quantity squared, I would take the first term squared, and then add to that twice the product of both terms, and then the last term squared. So that will give me an a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now we might just memorize that as a formula if that is what works for you. But I actually think remembering these phrases is going to help uh, guide us to evaluating these uh, squares of binomials. Now if I had a minus b squared, so my first term is a, and my second term I think of that as being negative b. So still going to have the first term squared, so a squared, twice the product of both terms. So if I take the product of a times negative b, I would get negative ab. Multiply it by 2, I get negative 2ab. And then the product of negative b squared, I'm sorry, the square of negative b, is going to be, well, positive b squared, because the negative sign is part of the base. That's what's being squared. Again, we can get a formula, and if it helps you, you can just memorize the formula. Now, our next special product is the product of conjugates. Well, what are conjugates? Again, we're still talking about binomials. So the conjugate of 5m minus 2 is 5m plus 2. All right, so it looks very similar, just a slight change. The conjugate of negative 3y plus 4 is negative 3y minus 4. So we notice that the first term, when we look at conjugates, doesn't change. It was 5m, and then in its conjugate, it's still 5m. In the second example, the first term was negative 3y when we looked at its conjugate, 
it's also negative 3y. What changes is the sign on the second term. It's going to change sign. So here I had a negative 2. In the conjugate, it's positive 2. And vice versa. If I, here I had a positive 4. In its conjugate, it's negative 4. So let's work this out, this product of conjugates, using FOIL. Again, I'm going to get four terms, and then I'm going to look for a pattern. So I get 25m squared plus 10m, then the negative 10m, and then minus 4. Well, so again, I have the square of the first term. And then I have, in the middle, two terms with opposite signs. So they're opposites of each other. They're going to add to make 0. And then the last term, it's minus the square of our second term. And so we get only two terms after simplifying. It's the square of the first one minus the square of the second one, the difference of two squares. So let's work out our second example here of the product of conjugates. What will I do? I'll take the square of the first term. Remember the minus 3 is y, that whole thing is the base. So the negative sign goes inside the parentheses when I'm squaring. And then I'm going to subtract off the square of the second term. So that'll give me 9y squared minus 16. Or again, we could think of this in terms of a formula as a plus b times a minus b is a squared minus b squared. So in summary, we've learned two special products. The square of a binomial. The square of the binomial, we think of it as the first term squared, plus twice the product of both terms, plus the second term squared. The product of conjugates, even easier, is the first term squared subtract the second term squared.